What's going to happen? Something wonderful. 1980 science fiction has all of those elements that make greatness in cinema and storytelling. It changed everything. And you know, I loved it. We felt so creative and we were so loose. Wow, what a great concept. It's the positiveness that made for repeat viewing. It's timeless. Knock me out. Surpasses our brains and goes straight to our heart. Sci-fi truly came of age and exploded in the 80s. It's time to start running! The whole audience for science fiction came alive. It's a ripe genre full of twists and offshoots. It was sci-fi movies that you began to take seriously. Showing people the dysfunction that we were headed for. I was the ultimate tough guy. I ain't got time to breathe. It just comes together as a thrill ride. What Pulp does best. Badass sci-fi. Yeah! It still plays. I loved looking up into the stars and imagining what's up there. What I see is possibility, all kinds of possibilities. It's a completely conceivable future. That tells us about ourselves as human beings. I love things that have themes like that. I love the idea that you could just be transported somewhere in time. You built a time machine? What of a DeLorean? <gasps> and it's all about the character. My character, Rachel, was the heart and soul of that picture. Alex is essentially a very reluctant hero. Tron was a warrior. He dominated the game grid. We started getting threats about if Spock dies, you die. We've really reached the end of traditional visual effects. That was extraordinary filmmaking, man. Technologies that end up becoming real. The science has caught up to the science fiction. Shall we play a game? It is everything we have warned you against. I'll be back. Sometimes I'm still in awe, like I was in a James Cameron movie. George Lucas was a gift. And he changed the whole world of cinema. This was supposed to be Stephen's little film. When he's hugging him and saying goodbye, I'm crying. I'm crying. I felt a part of a pioneering effort. We could miserably fail or we could wildly succeed. It really resonated to a lot of people. I like it if there's a bit of a human element. Those provocative stories are important for us. You thought we couldn't do it? Well, how do you like us now? These are times in your lives that you never forget. I want to hang on to those memories. Nostalgia connects us with our imagination. What might be? What could be? Can't we go back to what I grew up with, which is the beauty of sci-fi and imagination? The audience was ready for it. The world was ready for it. And we all wish we could be back there in some way, doing that with those people at that time. That's one of the joys of cinema. That's the magic of sci-fi, man. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit.